collab time, everybody. Now, a lot of you likely know the art channel run by Caitlin McKee. She's been running the channel for a long time. I've personally been following her for years, and she and I have been talking for a little while about doing a collab video, and we've finally gotten around to it. And we both like drawing Pokemon stuff, so we figured we'd do some Pokemon fusion art. Now, there's a few levels to this episode. First, we each picked Pokemon. I picked one for myself, she picked one for herself. Then we're each gonna give each other another Pokemon that the other person doesn't know what it is. So then we'll have to take the Pokemon we picked for ourselves and the Pokemon the other person picked for us and do an awesome mashup drawing. But we're just doing the rough drawing for that. Then we're gonna swap rough drawings and like in that video I did with Ollie the other day, we're gonna ink and color each other's rough drawings. There's a lot of levels to this, I hope I explained that okay. But either way, you'll get it as we go. So I picked for myself the Pokemon that I think is the most boss looking Pokemon out of Pokemon Sword and Shield, Toxtricity. I mean, look at him. He's sick looking. So now we're gonna jump on a chat with Caitlyn and find out what Pokemon she's got for me and I can tell her what Pokemon I've got in store for her. Hey man, how's it going? It's awesome, you? It's good. I'm really glad that we're getting to do this. This is gonna be such a fun video to me. Yeah, this is great. Well, I am ready to see what Pokemon you have for me. Well, I was just watching your video the other day of your uh, your scaly boys or your uh, your horny boys, as you call yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that you like the big scaly guys, so I picked the scaly guy that I think has the best expression of any Pokemon, and that is Crocorock. Oh yeah, I love that Pokemon. Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm really excited to figure this out because I picked one of the new Pokemon which is uh, Toxtricity. Oh, uh, I picked Toxtricity really... too. Oh, oh my God, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> is that, should, uh, should we just do it anyway? We're gonna keep it, yeah. So now that I know you're also doing Toxtricity, I'm excited to see how you're gonna combine this one. I've been really liking a lot of the new Pokemon design. So I decided to also go with a, another new Pokemon. So I'm giving you Colossal. Oh! Uh-huh. Okay, is he like rock and fire? Or rock and- Yeah, he's like, the first form is like this little ball of coal, like on a wheel in a way. So I think it's just a giant coal beast with like a fire going on its back. Like all the coal is all lit up and all that. Awesome. Okay, so we're both gonna jump into our art. Let's see what we make. So for my roughs, I messed around with a bunch of ideas right off the bat, just doing some really rough sketches, trying to figure out the body shape that I liked. I really like Toxtricity's proportions, his long arms, big forearms and hands, that's obviously my kind of thing, and he's got the kind of short stumpy legs, which reminds me a lot of some of the drawings that I was doing in my Inktober videos inspired by Jake Parker's creature designs. But I also like the idea of Colossal's body shape. It's not the kind of body shape I usually draw, so that would have been pushing myself a bit more. But in the end, I, I, I just couldn't resist going with the Toxtricity shape because it's I just think he's such a cool looking Pokemon. So what I decided to do was use Toxtricity sort of shape and work in a bunch of rocky sort of armor to him based on what Colossal's got going on. And it took me a while to try and figure out a pose that I liked. In fact, this first one I end up scrapping even though I spend a while on it. It was just, I, I didn't know I don't know, it was tricky. I liked the idea of having him on all fours because it would make him feel like a heavier creature and like the rocks are really kind of weighing him down and he's heavy and menacing. I like the idea of this pose, but because a lot of this video is focusing on the design of the creature, too much of his body is obscured behind him for that pose. So I ended up scrapping that idea and trying something else, a pose where you can see most of his body shape. And I ended up coming up with this idea where he's got his two hands kind of raised and he's holding a big heavy arc of lightning between his hands. And I just thought that was so cool looking. I liked having the big streaky thick lightning and having the character kind of looking down at us from an angle and a really cool sort of look. So we're looking up at him a little bit, makes him a little bit more menacing. And then I had a lot of fun rendering out all the armor around the character and making it like rocky and bumpy and kind of cracked looking. I'm curious to see how Caitlyn ends up coloring it if she adds in any of the sort of red that Colossal's got kind of streaked between the coal on his back. And just in general, I'm super excited to see what she does with this. In the video like this I did with Ollie, I was just inking and coloring one of his sketches. He didn't do one of mine. This time we've got a back and forth, so there's gonna be an awesome reveal at the end. But we're coming down to the end and my mashup's all ready. Here he is, the rough drawing of Rocktricity.
Okay, so our little monstrosity is off to Caitlyn, and let's see what she's got in store for us. Okay, so with Toxtricity and Krokorok, Caitlyn has given us... Oh, ho, ho, that is one spiky, lightning-y crocodile. Oh, this is sick. He looks so much like a punk rocker. Oh, this is so cool. I love what she's done with his face. That hair is great. The pose is awesome. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, let's get right into inking and coloring because I'm stoked to see what we do with this. Now, starting into this one, like with the last time I inked and colored someone else's drawing, one of the most fun parts for me was the fact that because the character is just a character on their own, I could do whatever I wanted with the background and compose the image however I wanted. This time, I ended up doing one of my kind of normal go-to things, put the character in the middle of the screen. I pushed them off a little bit to the right because the character's facing left, if you're looking at them from our perspective. And then I made the rocks on the right side of the image a little bit higher up in the environment, so our eye is kind of angling down through from upper right to lower left or mid left ish. And then I made sure the character's head was placed in a spot where there were no rocks around it and the sky was just behind it so it would really stand out from the background. With the inking, I decided to go with thinner inks than I normally do. That's partially because Caitlyn's inks in her videos are usually a lot thinner and I mean I'm inking and coloring one of her drawings so I felt like I should take a little bit of inspiration from her style. But besides that I pretty much just render it out in my own usual format. And I knew that I wanted to use a lot of thick blacks in this part, especially for the part where there are the, the black stripes around the neck and waist and arms to really make the character stand out. And my favorite part of this was how Caitlyn had a lot of like the, the black sort of ring under the eyes that Krokorok kind of has, because I knew that would really make the eyes pop out. I knew I wanted to make the eyes yellow because that spike or not spike, the, the lightning-y streak down the back was yellow as well, and I thought this was all gonna stand out really nicely. And I inked the lightning-y streak on the back in a lightish, medium-dark yellow kind of ink to make sure it looked a little bit more translucent. Then I got into coloring, and I wasn't totally sure what angle I wanted to go with if I wanted to lean more into Toxtricity's colors or Krokorok's colors. I ended up going more Krokorok for the base of the character, and then the stomach, I made Toxtricity's purple sort of color. And then for the background, something I did that I did in the last video like this as well is to make some of the background elements feel even more in the background, I didn't ink them at all, I just made them in color. And I end up later on using some lightish brushes to do some streaks in them, and doing those background elements not inked makes them feel further into the distance. It's the same principle as using lighter line weight on something if it's farther back, and thicker line weight if it's closer to us. These things are so far back that I'm just not putting, well, any line weight to them at all. I'm just not using lines on them. And I think that worked really nicely. I have the rocks going from a sort of yellowish hue that's closer to the color I did the character and going out into a sort of purplish gray as it gets farther into the distance and closer to the blue sky. Then a lot of my go-to stuff. On the ground, I added a bit of a rocky texture with some grainy textured brushes that I use. And I did some of the shading and lighting on the character in a bit of a rougher brush than I usually start with. I didn't just start straight into cell shading. And I think that adds a nice little bit of extra texture to the character, makes them look a little bit less digital. Not that I mind when stuff looks digital, I mean, I am a digital artist, but it is nice getting that little bit of extra texture in there. Overall, I had so much fun with this, I really can't wait to show it to Caitlyn, so I'll show you all the final version, and then we'll send it off to her. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what colors you picked. I can't wait to see the final drawing. I'm just super excited. All right, all right. This is awesome. I'm excited for you to see it. Big reveal. Here you go. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That's sick! I love how you did the highlights on it and how you combined the purples and the browns and like the, the Toxtricity mohawk thing. Like, wow. Wow, 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 and I love the background. Now I feel, <laughs> I wish I added a background of mine. This is so cool. Oh, so cool. Um, well, you gave me a lot to work with. I love the pose. I love that he was doing the rock on, had his tongue out. I was hoping that you'd do like the black stripes and I really like how they look. And with the, the rock on sign, um, after I saw yours, 
I instantly thought that if we put them next to each other, they would look like they were in a band. Like mine looks like the lead singer guitarist and yours would totally be the drummer. Oh, true. Yeah, I could, <laughs> <laughs> I could totally see that. And to make sure everybody goes to check out Caitlyn's, we're not gonna do the reveal for that one in this video. Make sure you go watch her video because it's, I mean, spoiler alert, I've seen it already and she made it look awesome. So you gotta go well, check you. out her video for the reveal. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I yours was super fun to do too. So I, I had a blast with that. Yeah, this was I, I still can't believe we both picked Toxtricity. That's hilarious. I know. <laughs> the chances of that. How did that happen? <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. This was seriously super fun. And if you haven't already gone to check out Caitlin McKeek's channel, I'll put a link in the card and the pinned comment, the description. She's got so much awesome drawing videos, especially if you love monsters and dragons. She's doing a hundred dragon challenge where she draws a hundred different types of dragons. She regularly does monster mash videos and she does lots of awesome Pokemon art and Pokemon fusions and tons of cool stuff like that. If you enjoy her stuff, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell on her end and like her videos. She was an inspiration on me starting this channel as an art channel in the first place. So I highly recommend going to check out her stuff. And if you're here from Caitlin's channel, hello, I'm Christian Pearson. This is Popcross Studios, home of the nerdiest art videos on YouTube. If you wanna see some of my personal favorite videos that I've made, I'd recommend either my Dungeons and Dragons Overwatch videos, or if you like traditional art better, maybe my attempting Inktober in one day videos, my Spider-Man villains in the Star Wars universe was a fun one, and the Illustrator React series is always a very popular one. But whether you're new to the channel or old to the channel, thanks so much for coming to check out the videos. That's all for today's episode. Thanks again to Caitlin for doing this collab because it was, once again, just so much fun to do. And yeah, time to close out this video because I've been rambling too much. I'll see you all in the next one, everybody. Thanks for watching and goodbye.